It is day six. Yesterday was interesting to say the least, and it was still fun, but man. Quite a few hiccups. I hope our hiccups are done. And maybe that was just what we needed to change our luck. So hopefully we can find a big boy today. Just made some coffee, I'm gonna roll out. Uh, got a couple extra layers on today. I added this quarter zip underneath my hoodie. No rain today though. No rain, yeah. No rain. Hopefully no flat tires or water problems and none of that crap. So I'm gonna hang up, let's go find them. That's what we've been listening to all day. I hope not. <laughs> well, this morning, a bunch of elk went into this pocket. I have a tree stand and a couple trail cameras down here. And we decided to go try to find the big herd, and we never did, so now we're kind of kicking ourselves for not going in here right away. There is one bull that we have a lot of pictures of. He's a six on one side, and he's like a three with a giant spike main beam. On the other side, I don't think I'd shoot him, but I haven't seen him up close. And a uh, bunch of smaller bulls, but there was a screamer. We don't know if it was that spike bull or a different bull. So we're gonna go in. If the wind's okay, we're gonna try to sit at that wallow and just chirp cow call every once in a while and see if we can get something to come down. Or maybe we'll sneak in and try to kill one out of his bed. Time will tell. Find one in a 
this bad. Send an arrow. Probably not gonna happen, but we're gonna try. sitting here for half hour 45 minutes we had two we think small bulls one I think was like a five rag and one was a small six point kind of wanting to come down here but they didn't see any elk and then as to be expected the wind swirled like 58 times and finally after a while they left but we're thinking that the herd's maybe up this valley a little further. So we'll just keep creeping and maybe we'll get lucky. You never know. Snack time. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna miss two small bulls, a little over three mile hike. It's getting hot. I think it uh, might be nap time. Maybe go check a couple cameras first and then catch a couple Z's. We are en route to our evening spot. It's day six. The evening of day six. We have been grinding. We did a big hike earlier, didn't turn anything up. We are switching gears. We're gonna go to a completely different spot where we saw a really big bull. Uh, was that the first night? Very first night. First night we saw this really big bull and it's really hard to get to, but we're gonna get to it. And we're gonna hope that maybe he's in there and maybe they're screaming. And maybe, just maybe, we can put an arrow in him, so. Stay tuned, it should be a fun night. It's smoky, and this area we're going to is usually like a good area to glass, but probably not gonna be a whole heck of a lot of glassing to be done, because you can only see like five, 600 yards. Anyhow, I'll shut up, we'll see you out there. Well, I told you earlier we were going back to a deep spot change of plans we stopped at the, one of the areas we've been hunting they're already firing in there we're not gonna leave bugles to maybe find bugles so we might run up there if this doesn't work out we still have like two and a half hours till dark it's about a mile hike in to get to where they're bedded we have to go around a piece of private but this is the only way to keep the wind right and we have not hunted this area this way ever so it's all new to us but it'll be fun let's go get them Chirp a few 
ventured that way. A couple distant bugles off to the east and a couple nights ago they came from there to here in like five minutes when they decided to move so we're hoping and praying that that happens tonight. But either way, good night. Anytime you have a bull and bow range, it's a success, so. Decided to go up where we were supposed to go tonight and just listen and there is an absolute throwdown rough fest going on like what you dream of as an elk hunter so we're pretty excited for the morning there's a screamer in there that reminds me of raspy I have no idea what he looks like but he sounds like raspy and uh, anyone that elk hunts elk hunt knows that when you uh, hear a bull like that the anticipation to see that bull is like next level so we're gonna get in here early tomorrow morning hopefully uh, get on them it's some rough rough country but if everything goes well maybe we can put an arrow in one tomorrow on day seven sweet dreams it is the morning of day seven and we left a little earlier than we've been leaving and we're heading to a spot that last night the herd we'd been kind of keeping tabs on moved uh, quite a ways and all hell broke loose so we're really hopeful that they stayed in that valley and that they'll still be hammering this morning it's uh, 4 50 a.m we'll get in there plenty early and listen and uh, hopefully kind of get a game plan together and intercept them, chirp a few times, call them in. As aggressive as they sounded last night, I'm not gonna be afraid to bugle and cut them off a bunch either, so. Stay tuned, should be fun. Day seven, coming at you. Every day is one day closer to the rut craze. Let's go get them.
east down this road. Maybe a good chance. We just got back to the truck and uh, we got on some midday action. We were just gonna go search this valley for wallows because a bunch of elk headed this direction this morning. Had one bugle and we got inside of his bubble and he was pissed, we thought, and it sounded like he was gonna come, but he never came. So we're not sure, um, we didn't bump him. So we ended up eventually just backing out of there. We tried pretty much everything we could think of to get him to come and he didn't want to come, but they didn't want to leave either. The cows were bedded like 40 yards from us. So we're gonna go listen to a couple more spots and then maybe uh, go take a nap and regroup for tonight. But first, air conditioner. Oh, what's up, dude? It was a fun morning. We uh, should have killed one. I screwed up, as you saw. But we know right where they're at, and we're going back in there tonight. So hopefully uh, they're fired up like they were this morning and last night. Should be good. There's like, I don't even know how many bulls. Five, six, seven bulls all in the same general vicinity. So we're going to get the wind right, ease in there, and just kind of try to slowly intercept them, just kind of soft play it. Let's see if it goes down. Headed back out for the evening. We're gonna go back in to the same area we were this morning and hopefully get in on them. Stay tuned. It's go time. We we're getting ready. We are two bugles up here on the ridge already, so good start to the night. things up a bit. Do it. Good luck. Thanks, buddy. Let's get him.
dude, yes. He's gorgeous, dude. He's like six by seven. So super pretty. I think that's the bull we saw down there this morning. So, dude, dude, yes. I, I couldn't range him. I didn't want the cows to catch me, but I just guessed him at 30. six but everything happens for a reason and on our way in here Austin's mom Ruthie her favorite color was purple and we passed a purple balloon on the ground so not even 20 yards back 20 yards back I looked at it and I was like oh my gosh is I this gonna happen it's a coincidence. <laughs> oh, unreal congrats dude thanks buddy Hello? 
throw. Throw what? It's done. Hell yeah, I'm on my way. All right, I'm heading that way. Okay, all right. We got a bull. All right. We got a bull, bull range right now. Don't, don't talk. Listen, listen. Oh, all right, bye. called me at 6.30, which only means one thing, because he's not gonna call me just to chat when the elk are bugling at prime time. So I was about to make dinner, so I dropped everything and ordered Taco Bell for the family and bounced. Sounds like Travis shot a bull, so I uh, abandoned everything that was going on and I'm heading that way. Thanks to the wife for being understanding. She knew exactly what Travis was calling about. And she said bye before I even answered the phone. So uh, that's how you know you uh, hunt a lot. So see uh, if I can figure out where they're at. Uh, it's been an hour and 15 minutes since we shot that bull. We came down, there is literally blood everywhere. When the herd went up the hill, he was standing there. And then we never saw him again. So he might have went down right there. But... We're just gonna creep down this hill and kind of glass where we last saw him and check for blood. I mean, if the blood continues like this, he'll be out of blood by the time he got over there, so. 132 yards, so. Last time we saw him, he had only 132 yards. Well, we just got back to the truck. We followed blood for uh, 300 yards and it was starting to get a little more sparse and we decided to back out of there. It sucks because I really want to go put my hands on him and I'm pretty sure he's dead, but I just, elk are crazy. It's not worth it. And we, I mean, he was kind of going down in this thick timber patch and so I'm sure he's either dead or gonna be dead in there. But we're gonna err on the side of caution. Uh, we were able to get a hold of Jeremy and my dad, and I think they're both on their way out because we thought for sure he'd probably be toast like within a couple hundred yards. But, you know, during the rut, they got that extra will to live. His cows, if his cows would have stuck around, he would have stuck around, so it is what it is, but I'm sure he'll be dead. I feel really good about the shot, so. We will uh, go meet up with Jeremy because he probably has no idea where we're at because we could not really talk. <laughs> it was like a very quick talk, so. Anyhow, uh, yeah. Probably not gonna sleep tonight. 
been really tired, been sleeping good. Probably not gonna sleep tonight. But it'll all be worth it in the morning. And luckily where he was headed is like down in a spring valley. Cause it was pretty hot today and it's gonna be hot tomorrow. So it's probably not gonna cool off that much tonight, but down in that spring valley, I bet it'll get down into like the forties. Yeah. Come back in the morning. He's gotta be dead. He's gotta be dead. Yeah. But it's not worth risking it. Is that the place that I said to go? It is. <laughs> well, look at that. Yeah. Well, and you know what's funny is last night we didn't go there because we stopped at a different spot on the way there and heard a bunch of elk, so we went somewhere else. Yeah. And then we went there after dark, and they were all screaming, like going nuts. Oh, jeez. We're going to go watch the all video, right. and I'm not going to sleep tonight, so. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Sounds good. The boys will be excited. Yeah, tell them in the morning daddy hit a big bull. I will. Alright, I love you. Okay, love you. Bye. Bye. Yeah, so I should have tucked it next to that shoulder a little more. Because he's quartered too, just a tad. So it's going to shoot in for an exit where it hits. Yeah. Like maybe caught the liver. Play it in slow mo. On the little screen, it looked like he was perfectly broadside. So that makes a little more sense now, I guess. So he's right there. That's him. Austin didn't know that at the time when he's filming. So all the cows leave and he stayed there for a while and then eventually he went up and followed him. Hmm. We're, we're like sneaking in there bugling so we're kind of, he's bugling and we can tell they're getting closer so we're getting in there. And uh, there's a, Ruthie's favorite color was purple. And we always said balloons are good luck. There's a purple balloon. Hmm. And we walk balloon? by it and we go 30 yards, stop. They come right in. That's cool. Coincidence? Purple <laughs> balloon. Purple balloon. It is the morning of day eight. And uh, we're not hunting this morning because we're going to go put our hands on the bull I hit last night. I have a pretty good idea where he went last, so hopefully he's just laying in there dead. It looked, after reviewing the footage, he was quartered towards slightly, and I just didn't realize that in the moment, and I didn't want to tuck it too close to his shoulder, and I think it's a liver shot, so he should be dead. It's just a matter of uh, finding him, because he probably isn't going to bleed much more, but hopefully he's just laying right down the hill. Jeremy came to help. My dad came to help. We got the Rambo loaded up. We are ready to rock, so we'll uh, touch base when we get back on the blood trail. We're heading in. We're going to go to the last blood spot and uh, get back on it. Hopefully he's laying right down the hill there in the thick stuff. Let's go find him. Yes. <laughs> we just hey, left. that was easy. And we cut down to this fence line where he was kind of headed. We didn't even get to anywhere. He's right here. Why'd you make it such a big problem? <laughs> Are you Hell kidding yeah. me? Well, oh no, the coyotes got him. Yep, got a little bit, not too much yeah. though. Damn. What a pull, dude. I cannot believe that. <laughs> right here. Sucks that the coyotes got him a little bit, but most of it'll be good. He's down this cool bottom. What a freaking cool bull. He's bull. awesome. This is a pretty bull. He reminds me of Jeremy's bull from a couple years ago. That seven top. Good mass all the way through. Uh, I cannot believe that he's laying right here. That is freaking crazy. <laughs> I was ready for a freaking hike. Not a boy. Dude. I thought like he'd be up here, hopefully like a few hundred yards, you know, but. That's awesome. This is about probably a hundred yards. So he went like 400 yards total, but that'll make our lives pretty easy for the pack out. So that is nice. Yeah, well. Big time. Not pretty, he's just dark horn. He's not a big scoring bull, but I'm tickled. The gorgeous bull. That's a tough one to pass up. He just, he came in so perfect. 
and never in a million years did I think it'd be that easy to find him. <laughs> that is crazy. We didn't even start looking yet. We well, found him. I don't even know why he came out of the thick stuff. Kyle's There's a pond right over. back here. I can s literally still see the pickups. <laughs> Heck yeah. So it's hard to complain about that. Um, well, that's no fun. We didn't have any pressure well, this morning. You know what? We didn't so even get cool. to start worrying. 300 yards. Is where we we're gonna hike into. He came 200 yards this way. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, no yeah. kidding. <laughs> Towards the truck. Well, well, we were joking like when he was heading this way. We we're like, keep going, buddy. <laughs> he says, these guys are all fat in that shape. <laughs> Let me yeah. help him out. Well, we're gonna go get my half of my arrow. I left where the blood started and look, see if he bedded anywhere or if he just went all the way here. Here's the half of my arrow. Oh, we found him. We followed the blood trail all the way. Look at there he is. He bled good. Heck of a deal. Freaking cool. That back end's badass. That's what you wanted. Cool back end. Pretty special moment right here. 18 year wait. Just a cool bull. Super cool hunt. Uh, he tried to breed a cow, then he ripped a bugle. And then I smacked him. I just wanted to stay away from that shoulder, so it was a liver shot. So we just wanted to give him all night after. We thought we had one lung. It was getting dark. The blood didn't look that dark, but. Luckily we waited because he went quite a ways. He's been dead for a while. Coyotes got to him a little bit, but there's still a ton of meat. They just got the hams. But what a freaking cool bull. Unbelievable. I don't even know what to say. Austin was filming. Jeremy was with part of the time. Dad was with part of the time. James came with, Jared came with. It was a fun, fun experience. Thanks, buddy. Heck yeah, dude. Congrats. It was awesome. It's been a blast. Wow. Wish I had a bigger fireplace to put them above. First load back to the pickup. Woo! Yeah, buddy. I think I could do it, but if I fall, I might die. Well, we're headed out of here. I'm sitting on the Rambo, but Jeremy's gonna ride it out because if I fall, I might die. <laughs> but. Yeah, you, no, not might, you will. It was fun, boys. It's it real fun. Real. Good time. We're gonna get this meat on ice. It's starting to warm up a little bit, so just in time. I'm gonna get off this thing and head out of here. Yeah, it's in the coolers right there. The meat's in the coolers? All of it, oh. yep. 